Tucked away in the mountains near Tokyo, Hachioji Castle wasn't always just a pile of old stones. Back in the day, it was a mighty fortress that saw some intense battles during the Sengoku period. But behind its walls, a tragic event took place, leaving a mark that some say can still be felt today. Let's take a trip back to the 16th century. Japan was a chaotic place, with warlords fighting for control. Hachioji Castle was held by the powerful Hojo clan, but their power was threatened by the ambitious Taiyotomi Hideyoshi, who had big dreams of uniting Japan. Hideyoshi launched a full-scale invasion, and Hachioji Castle found itself on the front lines. The Hojo army, led by Hojo Ujinao, was mighty, but outnumbered. Ujinao, fearing a siege, made a fatal decision. He left the castle with most of his troops, leaving behind a skeleton crew to defend the women and children. Knowing defeat was imminent, the women of the castle made a heart-wrenching choice. Legend says they took their children to Goshoden Waterfall, and rather than face capture, they chose a tragic end. The legend has forever stained Hachioji Castle with a sense of unease. Locals claim the waterfall runs red on the anniversary of the siege, a spectral echo of the bloodshed. Visitors report a strange atmosphere, a feeling of being watched, disembodied cries echoing through the ruins, and electronic devices malfunctioning with unexplained glitches. Some even claim to see ghostly figures, spectral echoes of those lost souls. Are these just stories spun to enhance the castle's mystique, or is there a truth to the haunting of Hachioji Castle? Some paranormal investigators believe the restless spirits of those who perished are trapped, forever reliving their final moments. Perhaps the whispers on the wind are the cries of those who died, or the malfunctioning electronics a form of spirit interference. The story of Hachioji Castle's haunting takes another turn with the legend of Hojo Ujitera. He wasn't present during the castle's fall, having died defending a different Hojo stronghold. But some believe his spirit is forever linked to Hachioji. Ujitera was a fierce warrior, deeply loyal to the Hojo clan. His death in battle was a huge blow to their forces. Legend says his spirit refused to find peace, consumed by rage and a thirst for vengeance. Some believe Ujiteru's vengeful spirit haunts not just Hachioji Castle, but all former Hojo lands. He's said to be a restless entity, seeking revenge for the clan's downfall. His fury is believed to manifest in the strange occurrences at Hachioji, the whispers, the malfunctions, the unsettling atmosphere. Let's fast forward to today. The Hachioji Castle ruins have become a peaceful retreat for history lovers and nature enthusiasts. The hike to the top is not too difficult, and the view from there is absolutely stunning. As you explore the old stone walls, courtyards, and foundations, you can't help but feel like you've been transported back in time. Just imagine the samurai going about their daily routines, the sound of their armor clanking, and the important war meetings that took place right here. Hachioji Castle stands as a monument to a bygone era, a silent testament to the human cost of war. The whispers of the past may linger, a chilling reminder of the tragedy that unfolded there. Perhaps it's not just the spirits of the departed that haunt the ruins, but the very essence of violence and despair that forever stained the ground. So, what do you think? Is Hachioji Castle haunted? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this spooky adventure, hit that like button and subscribe for more haunted places around the world. Until next time, stay scared. We will see you on our next video.